We're back. Just on the tinny. Gave it a bit of a clean. Today's plan is uh, fishing this little bridge again. Um, and gonna go hit another bridge. And then going to draw, try to pop some natural on the low tide. The tide's running out. Wind against tide, very limited on spots. So, and it's very windy, not just a little bit of wind. So, starting off with the prawn, prawn the bridge, and Nori's upper cutter natural. So, let's go. Hopefully, we got enough charge in this thing. What do we got? Oh, we're full. Look at this guy. Um, so, yeah, see what happens. See what happens today. I've actually upgraded my leader and got 30 pound on the thirty pound on the bait caster and 40 on the spin. So hopefully. And this time the camera I'll make sure is facing down. Sorry about that last time. Definitely due for some new rods. This is my only only bait caster rod I got left, all the others are snapped. Don't ask how, don't ask why, just know that they're snapped. So same. Just gonna chuck one up this side, two up this side, swap sides, chuck up, then slowly creep up and do the same this side. The wind's gonna push me onto it, so it's gonna be very not cool to fish. I don't like pushing back from the columns, like the current. I feel like they know something's up. But we'll try to get one in. So just let it sink till it hits the bottom. And then just slow wind. Let it sink and hit the bottom. Let it sink and hit the bottom. Sink, hit the bottom. I like fishing this stuff really, really slow. Well, that's nearly the whole thing. What you don't want to do is hook up there. You know, a little bit of trouble if you hook up there. So what I'm doing, I've got the boat positioned fairly out. So if I need to, I can just go boom. And you get that sort of 30 degree, 25 degree angle. Which is a lot better than being parallel. Put a weed down there, so just stop, let it hit the bottom again. Very bad positioning off the electric, which is not recommended at all. So, then just go back, reposition yourself for this other side. So, as I say, I like to sit out a little bit, um, just just enough so you can actually run your rod. Your line, that's very bad. I'm gonna be missing this. I'm actually gonna reposition myself so I'm facing the other way. So then if I do drift in, I don't hit the column. A quick Yui. I'm good to go. Oh, shocking as well. That's the one. So yeah, let it go. Get yourself in the zone. Let it sink. Lay on the bottom as long as it wants. And then get yourself in the zone where you want to be. And 
just make sure it's on the bottom. Slowly wind. Seems like it's a spot for the skids. So nothing, so what you can do is even go down the back of the boat now. Chuck right up there. So set yourself back up, no, no rush. And then, so you can wait 10 minutes if you wanted to, until you're happy on the position. And then slowly wind. Keeping it out as much as you can. So yeah, two, as long as you get a few good casts in, you have two, two. Nine times out of ten they're gonna hit you on that two to three casts if it's not the first. So within three casts, if you haven't got a bite, then I sort of move on. Same as here, get yourself in position. You want to chuck about that foot off. I like a foot off. Any further than that out, no luck. Any closer, you're in for a hell of a ride. I always tend to point my electric out. Nothing. Go again. Oh, that's behind the column. So just let, make sure it's on the bottom. Start off on the bottom and then you're good to go. In a bit of a position here because the boat's going to try to push onto the column. Slow, take your time, slow and steady. Slow and steady gets a bite. When they hit, no one be slow and steady. Definitely don't want to be slow and steady. I was about a meter out, which isn't good, but and now I've got the wind on my ass, which I don't like. How was that? Okay, oh, that was a hit. Oh, and again. Might have been a little jack, brim, who knows. But, let's see if we can get it this one. Yeah, I'm always in free school. On the sink, you can reposition yourself. As long as you chuck where you want it, you can do whatever you want. Alright, so now I'm going to do go on the other side and the fish the other side up and then I'll continue on even sort of 30 pounds cutting it here like if you have tight line 
and it hits one of those barnacles, it's like, yeah, tears. Brings a man to tears. Chuck on this drain. Just didn't have an eye. What, what was that? So this way you got current, but a wind. So. Let's knock it out a bit. You got current pushing us that way. Wind this way, not good. So we're on the bottom. So I'm out two two meters out. I'm about off the column. So you want to try to give yourself as much advantage as possible to try get them out. If they hit ya. If being the key word. But it also gives you that good angle to actually chuck in rather than a long. That's the biggest benefit from it. And the slow winding. There's no real skill to it. As long as you're within a foot, I reckon. Within a meter, really, but I like to be within a foot. And just keeping in touch with the bottom. It's, you're in for a good chance. So there's two up there, nothing. So that one there, I'm about for 70 centimetres off. So what I'm going to do is let the boat drift out, give me that angle I need, and then start winding. It goes from zero to 100 really quick doing this. Really quick. Nothing. Do the same here. Couple of casts and jet. We'll go fish another bridge and hopefully get a little bit more excitement. So that angle, you're, you're chucking actually at it, which if you come parallel with it and chuck, it's so hard. That's the biggest probably tip I can give you with fishing bridges is sit out, chuck in, and then continue. Just keeping that position out. So when you can, your electric's pointing out. You've got enough room to swing your rod out, give you that 45 degree angle to just better your chances. That's all you're looking for. It's just an upper. Just You want the slight upper hand on them. You get the upper hand on them, you're laughing. It's when they get the upper hand on you not so good. But just letting it sink. It's on the bottom. And just continue your wind. So if you can remember, it's a bit to do, but if you can remember, always fix your electric to out of the structure. So just reposition myself. Turn it back. It's just, just little things that many crumbs make a loaf of bread. So if you get gain, just little bits, little bits, little bits, little bits, and that each little bit 
that is your chance of being able to pull them out. This way is not the best. I don't like this way because the tide, this is basically running against the tide. So if they're there to feed and they're facing up, looking into the current for the bait fish, this is the wrong way to do it. But I'm pretty safe to say there's not one here. So let's do the odd, odd one on the rock wall, then we'll jet. Nothing, you just slow wind every so often and let it hit the bottom. Exactly like that. So, what we'll do is we'll make the move. 